Introducing at a total weight of 435 pounds from Nashville, Tennessee, Roy Rogers. And from Salem, Virginia, Rick McCord. Going against him at a total of 448. From Huntsville, Alabama, beautiful Bobby Eaton. And from Union City, Tennessee, Sweet Brown Sugar. This match one fall, 15 minute time limit. Jerry Calhoun, the referee. Woogie! Calhoun trying to get him straightened out on a one on one. Roy Rogers will be starting uh, for the McCord Rogers team. Sweet Brown Sugar doing the number for Eaton and Brown Sugar. The uh, action is going to have to favor Sugar and Eaton, I would think. McCord and Rogers, both good young wrestlers, but uh, Sugar and Eaton. While they're not old wrestlers in that sense, they have got some experience behind them, Davey. They have some experience working together, too, as a tag team and also, of course, as first family members. They uh, tend to think alike with the, with the way they've been taught by Jimmy Hart. Brown Sugar, after a couple of good moves by Roy Rogers, heads for the corner, and here is beautiful Bobby Eaton. Well, he's greeted with about the same thing by Roy Rogers. Roy. Keeping him moving. Eaton now forces him back to the corner. Roy tags his partner, Rick McCord. Rick. Fields him across the ring with a drag. Goes for a head scissors. Flying head scissors. He got it. Got Eaton off his feet, but Eaton quickly. Back up. Long the ropes. He shoves McCord back to the corner. Rick makes a tag, and here's Roy Rogers. Roy grabs Eaton in a side headlock. Eaton gets a tag, and it's Roy Rogers, sweet brown sugar in there again. Rick McCord. Had the headlock. Brown Sugar forcing it with a wrist lock. McCord into the ropes. Brown Sugar fired into the ropes across the way. McCord got him with the shoulder. Good reversal by Rick McCord. Brown Sugar set to throw him with the arm, but McCord reversed him on it. And it was Brown Sugar that ended up on the mat, and McCord ends up with the advantage on the hold. Kenny Shane sitting quietly in the chair out there. He's um, Jimmy's assistant, of course, and taking it mightily easy. Roy Rogers grabs right a hold of beautiful Bobby Eaton, and Eaton right up in the air. Oh, he dumped him hard. Woo! Right back with a double-handed chop in the back and follows it up. Eaton letting a little fury out. He and Brown Sugar work well together as a tag team, Dave. Sugar takes a tag, comes right on in, and drops down hard on it. Eaton goes out as the referee. Got him right after he finished that last punishment before down. Brown Sugar dropping again on that leg of uh, Roy Rogers. You know, I, I, I see action like that, and I wonder an action like that. If they're uh, following up, they couldn't break Stan Ling's leg if they're trying to get somebody else to break a leg in there. They're working on Roy. Boy, Eaton vicious. Double chop across the back. Roy headed for the corner to tag Rick McCord, but couldn't make it. He was about four feet from the tag. He stumbles into a tag with uh, Brown Sugar, but he's near that corner on the left. You're right, they're really working on that leg of Roy Rogers. That's that right. Roy wanted to kick uh, Brown Sugar back out of the way, but he couldn't do it. That's the tag. McCord coming in with Bobby Eaton and Brown Sugar. We're very close to the four minute mark. Four minutes gone in this one. Oh, McCord steps over, but Kenny Shane got him in the back with a cane. <laughs> Kenny Shane had been seated quietly in the chair over there, but he stood up as McCord was headed for the ropes and smacked him in the back with that cane. Eaton off the, off the uh, ropes. 
That's it. He got it. Four minutes, 18 seconds, and McCord, see him holding his back. He was speared with that, that uh, with the end of that cane by Kenny Shane. 4.18, the time on it. Well, as we get underway with this one to explain to you what all that was about, we've got beautiful Bobby Eaton and Sweet Brown Sugar, the first family's pride and joy, uh, with Jimmy Hart in the corner going against Bobby Fulton and Bill Dundee. Uh, Dundee was starting out against Eaton. Eaton came over, grabbed the mic, and said, why don't you bring Fulton in if he's such a tough young kid? Bring him in and let him start. So promptly, Fulton and Dundee switch places. Bobby is starting against Bobby. That is Fulton against Eaton. And thus far, Eaton has had the better of it. Eaton will outweigh him by about 13 pounds. Eaton from Huntsville, Alabama. Fulton from Columbus, Mississippi. Uh, Mississippi from Columbus, Ohio. Woo, and Fulton down hard on the deck, Eaton over the top. Nice hip toss from Fulton. A second one, and he's right after him. Big body slam. Now that's aggressiveness. Fulton's learning it. Boy, he's picking it up. And he's telling Eaton, why don't you come back out? Dundee called him off a second, said something to him. About this time, what you better do is look out. Eaton and Sugar didn't get and keep the Southern Tag belts for as long as they did by being pushovers. Both of them rough and tough, good wrestling team, but they can get nasty, very nasty. Fulton fired and catches Brown Sugar. Sugar back up on his feet, squaring it off. But Sugar tags Bobby Eaton. Hard up, strolling around around the ring. Jimmy is dressed in his wrestling attire. He'll be appearing in about sometime later on. Fulton raked across the eyes by Eaton, and the referee gets on his back. He says, come on, come on, come on, keep it clean. That's wasted breath. Look at Fulton. He's taking care of business. Sugar knocked off the ring apron down onto the concrete floor. Big backdrop. Fulton took him up and now goes after Eaton. Dundee comes in to help him out. He grabs Eaton. Fulton with sugar. Oh, man, oh, man. Woo! They really snapped him together and Fulton down uh, on top. Could only get a two count. Eaton. Comes back to the corner, but he wasn't the legal man in the ring, I don't believe. Well, in any event, the referee's satisfied, so are we. Bill Dundee in after his first tag. Billy in sweet brown sugar. Dundee to the corner. Oh, good night. Sugar hit that corner. He missed Dundee as Bill ducked and went underneath him. Sugar bailed himself over the top. I don't know how he kept from breaking a shoulder. He may have. He hit that concrete floor, but firm. Sugar down hard. Dundee on top one. No. Got him again for a one count. And again. Eat 
Martin going after Dundee. Billy rolled out of the way and he nailed Sugar a count of one. And Sugar still covered up. Dundee really pressing him hard. Five minute call has been made. 55 minutes to go. Standing side headlock, Dundee has a hold of Sugar. Billy lets him have that five-fingered massage as he knuckled him down to the canvas, picks him up, goes into a side headlock again. Sugar shakes him. Bill holds up on the ropes. No dice for Sugar. The recipient was beautiful Bobby Eaton. He flattened him on the ring apron. <laughs> Crowd saying, oh. Sugar came over and beautiful Bobby patted him on the back and said that's all right Sugar. Eaton. A little finger pointing at, at uh, Bobby Folden. <laughs> Dundee takes the tag comes in right hand flying Jimmy Hart complaining about the use of the fist. He grabbed our top ropes and swung up and kicked him right in the face. Eaton in. Backdrop. Beautiful Bobby high on a double backdrop. Fulton takes over and covers him up. One. Oh, and Fulton gets caught in the back by Sugar. Bobby Fulton waiting on Brown Sugar to come out of the corner. Eight minutes, 45 seconds have passed. Plenty of time left in this match. It's a doggone good pairing, I'll tell you. Sugar and Eaton against Bobby Fulton and Bill Dundee. We're so pleased. Oh, and as Fulton went back into the rope, while the referee was sending Hart back to the chair, Eaton grabbed him from behind. Fulton ripped across the eyes. Fulton down and Sugar takes over as Dundee around the corner was run back by the referee. Now Hart all the way around the corner poking that stick at Dundee. And Bobby Fulton taking a pasting from the tough sweet brown Sugar.
Tag on Eaton. Dundee nailed by Brown Sugar. Kicked off of the ring apron, and Eaton takes over with Bobby Fulton. He's got him in a chokehold. Sugar being told to get out of there by the referee. And now he does. Fulton dumped hard. Bobby trying his best to get to the corner, but he is stopped hard by Bobby Eaton. Big right hand, Fulton goes down. Fulton while Eaton was nailing Bill Dundee. 11 minutes, 20 seconds. Sugar kicks Dundee off the ring apron, so it's Bobby Fulton having to face the two of them for a moment by himself. Tag on Eaton, beautiful Bobby comes in as Dundee shaking the cobwebs out, heads back to the ring apron, double elbow. And here comes Bill helping out. Boy, look at him go. Jimmy Hart up on the ring apron himself and Dundee chasing him. But while that's going on, Fulton has put down kind of one, two, three. And Bobby Fulton is down. I didn't see the actual event watching Dundee go after Hart, but I do know who the winner is. Sweet Brown Sugar and beautiful Bobby Eaton will win it in 12 minutes, 11 seconds. Eaton and uh, Sugar are the winners. And We're about ready to get going here is uh, you know, our AWA Southern oh, Tag that, Jimmy, you know, will you get it done oh, and no, shut, shut up. And get what do you the think ring? you know who you're talking to? What do you know who you're talking to? Evidently, you don't. Let me tell you get something. Him over there and get this match started. Oh, man. Come on. Get the match. Who cares? Let me tell you something right now, baby. Dylan has done hit the high country. I beat him and ran him off. I told everybody my team was going to be the new Southern Heavyweight Champions, and they are the new Southern Champions. But you know what? From now on, from now on, every week on this TV, we're going to put the belts up because I've got something to prove to the well, people now. Great. Because I was tired of seeing Lawler and Kamala and Lawler and Kamala and Dylan, these people on main events everywhere. We're going back to the top again, baby. When you're on top, you got to let it rock, and we're ready, and we're going to set examples with these little pukes out here right We're, now. Right? Okay, Come on, baby. Let's go. Woo! Come on, brother. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. This is an AWA Southern Tag Team title match. The belt's on the line. The challengers at a total weight of 432 pounds from Barrow Beach, Florida, Terry Taylor, and from Columbus, Ohio, Bobby Fulton. Going against them, total weight of 448 pounds. The champions... From Huntsville, Alabama, Bobby Eaton. And from Union City, Tennessee, Sweet Brown Sugar, their manager, Jimmy Hart. This is a Southern Tag Team title match. The referee is Jerry Calhoun, and it is going to be a two out of three fall match. Two out of three fall, a good format, and we'll be looking for it. Bell time, and here we go, baby. First fall underway, Sweet Brown Sugar is starting against Terry Taylor. Terry Taylor drops to the mat. On his feet and a drop kick puts Brown Sugar down on the mat. Now he's got Brown Sugar in the air. Body slams him. Bobby Eaton steps through the ropes with no tag. Taylor slams him. And then turns his attention back to the legal man in the ring, Sweet Brown Sugar. Terry Taylor and Bobby Fulton making a challenge for those big Southern Tag Team titles. Taylor. As we told you a week or so ago, has a collegiate career behind him in wrestling. Oh, Brown Sugar flying through the air, but Taylor had moved out of the way. Backdrop. Brown Sugar heads for the corner, grabs Bobby Eaton. He does more just tag him. He holds on. Bobby Eaton now steps through the rope. 
He's been in there before, but this time he's in there legally after the tag. And he's facing young Terry Taylor. Terry is a former co-holder of a couple of regional tag team belts. He and Bobby Fulton going for the big ones here today. Taylor steps over. Bobby Eaton sets reversed by Taylor. Brown Trigger jumps in, and Taylor handles him, too. Eaton still in the ring, hanging back in the corner. Brown Sugar went through the ropes on the other side. Now back over for a conference with manager Jimmy Hart. Taylor back to the corner, tags Bobby Fulton, Columbus, Ohio. Fulton wrapping up that left arm, put the twist on it. Eaton back to the corner, makes the tag on Brown Sugar. Bobby Fulton takes him down. Puts a bar on Sugar's left arm. Brown Sugar on his feet, makes the tag. Bobby Eaton back in. Eaton and Sugar defending their Southern tag belts. Eaton hangs on to the ropes and with the feet, puts Bobby Fulton down on the mat hard. And he followed through. Fulton uh, back on his feet. He goes after Sugar for good measure back here. Then back to Bobby Eaton in the corner. Bobby Fulton after Bobby Eaton, but Eaton's got something on his hand there. Chain, I think. I don't know. Gone now. Bobby Eaton. Nealon, Bobby Fulton. We're three minutes into this fall. Three minutes gone. Remember, it's a two out of three fall match. One fall won't do it for either team. Tag made. Eaton's got a cut opened up on Bobby Fulton's forehead. Brown Sugar in there now. Eat Brown Sugar. Hammering. Bobby Fulton now into the foot of Bobby Eaton. Eaton stays in there, goes to work on that cut over the right eye of Bobby Fulton. Fulton fired into the ropes. He's over near the corner, but cannot worry in himself enough to reach out and make the tag on his partner, Terry Taylor. Now Brown Sugar comes in after the tag. Eaton mighty slow about leaving as a double team Fulton. Taylor comes in here to even it up. Everybody battling. Eaton holds him up. Sugar off the ropes. Eaton with a cover. One, two, and three. He's counted out. Count of three as Bobby Eaton and Sweet Brown Sugar take a one fall to nothing lead in the Southern Tag Team Championship match. So the champions one fall up over the challengers Terry Taylor and Bobby Fulton. Fulton with that cut on his forehead. Now he's going at it again. Uh oh, Eaton with a pile driver on Bobby Fulton. Hart walks over it. Only one fall. Marvelous. Jury out on a business. One fall, four minutes, 18 seconds, and the win in that one goes to the champions, Bobby Sweet Brown Sugar. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It is so difficult to sit by and do commentary and be objective with yeah, isn't it? things like that. Let's take time out, and while they're helping Bobby out of there, uh, let's take some time out, and we're going to be back in just a moment. Okay, let's ring the bell and get it underway with the second fall of action. The first one went uh, to Sugar and Eaton. Of course, you saw the little action that followed the uh, the official part of it when beautiful Bobby slammed uh, Bobby Fulton. Yeah, Eddie Marlin. Uh, Bobby Fulton's unable to continue, so we got a standby match. We're going to put that on. It'll make for a better TV. But he just okay, Bobby cannot continue. Well, we were just telling him about what happened. Hart looking like he can't imagine what happened up there. When 
Bobby Fulton uh, with his head busted open uh, and a pile driver. And Eddie Marlin has just informed us Bobby Fulton cannot continue. Oh, and so no, we have. Fools changing no match. Let me tell you something. We, we signed have a Marlin. Stand by match. Oh, stand by yourself. Let me tell you, we signed for a two out of three match, and that's what we're going to get. You got some big shots in the back. Bring out Lauder. Bring out Dundee. Come on, bring them out. Oh, you guys Come are. Up, you're really feeling hot. Who does he think he is? Go get Timmy Valiant out here. We won't stop, buddy. We want to put these belts up like we said we was going to do in a two out of three fall match. That's right, baby. We've had one fall. We want the rest of the falls to come out here because we're, right now, we're going to start to hurt somebody. Two two right. Yeah, well, do you understand? Two That's why we can't you continue. Ring. Won't you All be right, two two Sugar. Three, Just right. You've had somebody. the match. And and one partner, you're you're the easy. one that hurt him and put him out when you That's did that. Right. Uh, Wrestling is tough, Russell. If you can't take it, then get out of it. Hey, that's a good idea, Jim. That's a good idea for you. Why don't you get out of it? Eddie Marlin has already said they had one fall. And that's All we it. ask is for the guy to get a partner. We don't care who it is. Get Mantell, get Lawler, get Dundee, get Baya, get, get anybody you want to. I don't care who you get. Oh. Oh. Well, fine. Oh, we just here may, comes muscle here. We just oh, may, have a, may have a partner for sure. Plus, I'm a little insulted. They mentioned everybody's name but me. Well, you guys want a match? I'm here. I'm getting the ring. You, you just take your big mouth and get the ring. Don't you ever call him Big Mouth? Big mouth. Yeah. Don't you ever call him Big Mouth? Yeah. 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 Big Mouth. He called you Big Mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Coco, he called him That's Big Mouth. Fine, right. just head right up there. Hey, stop it, Big Mouth. Come on. So Steve Kern has volunteered to come in with uh, fellow Floridian Terry Taylor. Here we go, and what we've got is uh, Steve Kern joining with Terry Taylor. And Kern jumps out as he was reaching for a chain. Chain current took it away from Bobby Eaton. And Sugar's got a chain in his hand. Eaton is choking away on Steve Kern. Brown Sugar pounding with a chain on Terry Taylor. And now we've got all four of them in the ring in there as Sugar is slamming Terry Taylor with a chain. Beautiful Bobby had pulled a chain out, was going to use it on Taylor. Steve Kern pulled it away from him, and now all four of them are in there, and the referee is trying to break things up and get it back down to order again. But he's not having much success. Hey, Sugar now has gotten rid of the chain, and he's just using his fist. Terry Taylor trying to fight his way back out of the corner. Eaton comes in with a choke, and Steve Kern caught as he was getting ready to join the fray. Sugar got him right in the midsection. So we just have a free-for-all in this uh, battle here. Beautiful Bobby over there with Taylor, whose head was busted open with that chain that uh, Brown Sugar is. Oh, I'm quit yelling in my ear, Jimmy. Sweet Brown Sugar, Steve Kern. Beautiful Bobby still slamming away on Terry Taylor where his head was busted open with that chain that Sugar had. Now, Taylor firing on Eaton, and look at Kern. Bang, sweet brown sugar down to the mat. And the champion, Davey, pounded down. This has been going on for two and a half minutes now. Double clothesline, Kern and Taylor. And the tide has changed, yes, my friend. And big man, big man. Eaton fired in at a double backdrop. Eaton down one, two, three. He was the legal man. He and that's going to be it. He was the legal man. He was the legal man. The referee counts one, two, three on Eaton and Kern and Taylor. 
have really gone to town on Sugar and Eaton. Taylor bleeding rather profusely about the head where Sugar beat on him with that chain, but uh, he ended up getting his two cents worth in there, and Steve Kern and Terry Taylor come back in a real fire as they uh, turned it over on Eaton and Sugar, Davey. Well, they did indeed. Once they got it going, it was uh, no stopping them, and Taylor got the pin. Time on the fall, two minutes, 46 seconds. Winner of the fall, Steve Kern and Terry Taylor. A couple of tough young gentlemen out of Florida who got the number done. Okay. More than Back in the ring right now, Steve Kern and Terry Taylor, who I really take my hat off to them, uh, as after the action uh, had gone totally, yeah, Eddie. His first family refuses to come back. He said they signed a match with Terry Taylor and Bobby Fulton. So they refused to come back. They said they didn't sign a match with these guys. So. And now they're not going to come back yeah, for the fall. Right, let's go. They signed it with you and Fulton, so they refused to wrestle. So we'll go ahead and put on the standby match. Okay. Well, hey, that's uh, that's the way it's going to be. Is the fact that. Um, we have uh, Eddie Marlin was saying that Jimmy Hart and the first family refused to come back uh, because they had signed the match with Taylor and Fulton, but uh, all that can tell you is that they were sure anxious before uh, the tide turned the other way. So that's the way it is right now. Yep. Uh, one of the ways, Dave, to keep Sugar and Eaton from jumping into the ring is to put them in the ring, and that's exactly what we're going to do on videotape. This one you got to see, uh, it is a bout that took place between Steve Kern and Terry Taylor, a really outstanding tag team out of Florida going against the champion Sweet Brown Sugar and beautiful Bobby Eaton. Let's take a look at it. In the corner, you can do, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Did Taylor nail him with a forearm? I mean, yes, he really pounded Bobby Eaton in the corner. Terry from Vero Beach, uh, Florida, California, Florida. Oh, and Kern catches Eaton as he went over the ropes on the leapfrog, went over to the ropes. Steve dramatically showing he was touching the corner, but he still was able to hit him with that forearm. Sugar holds up. And Terry Taylor drop kicks him into Kern, and Kern still gets him with a forearm. Taylor hangs on to a side headlock with beautiful Bobby. Over the top comes. Eaton was going to pull a similar trick that Taylor pulled. Terry slipped out of the way. Eaton in the wrong corner had his hand up to tag, and Steve Turn Kern did the tagging, but right on the button. Shoots a right, takes a forearm. Whip into the corner. Kern. Monkey flip as he tagged Terry Taylor on the way down. Beautiful drop kick. Sugar runs into Eaton. Taylor, another monkey flip. And Kern and Terry Taylor looking very hot. Taylor whips around, going for the abdominal stretch. Can't get a good hook on beautiful Bobby. Jimmy Hart jumped up on the ring apron while the referee was separating Sugar and Kern. He nailed Taylor in the back. And now Sugar takes a tag and tags back out to Eaton. You see, Hart figured it was worth the gamble to do the damage. 
on Taylor. If he got disqualified, they still keep the belt. Beautiful Bobby now. Going after Terry Taylor. slam by beautiful Bobby and Taylor down underneath the ropes is picked up by sweet brown sugar sugar whips him in big clothesline and boy did he string him out wow sugar chin locks him sits down on the spine and Steve Kern comes in kicks him right out of there Eight and a half minutes in, and Steve Curran trying to give Terry a little pep talk over there. Taylor puts a foot in the midsection to eat, but Sugar headbutts him from outside the ropes. And beautiful Bobby, a knee to the midsection. Tag on Sugar. Double T and Eaton is shoot out of there by the referee, but he doesn't go and drops an elbow and a leg from Sugar. And Steve Kern gets him out of there. Another big elbow from Sugar. Tag on Eaton. the ring without benefit of tag clubbing away and there goes Taylor over the top rope while the referee was in between Kern and Eaton at the 10 minute mark Terry Taylor blistered and put down on a bat where Eaton and Sugar double teaming again Sugar, man, you can hear that right hand popping Terry Taylor. Taylor swinging back. Sugar goes under it and comes back in again himself. Taylor taking quite a pounding. Double team. Sugar out. Eaton stays in. a tag on Steve Kern the referee arguing with sugar he probably didn't see it that's what I thought with Taylor being held sugar comes off the top rope or the second rope Steve Kern being run out by referee Paul Morton who did not see the tag he was busily engaged with sugar Taylor trying to fight his way back up shoulder and Taylor may go to the well one too many times he does a sunset flip but sugar right down on top of him knocks him off as Jimmy Hart had the referee looking away Terry and a small package and the referee runs sugar back out of there Eaton gives it up to Sugar legally this time. Approaching the 14 minute mark in action. Taylor now going for the corner and there's a tag on Steve Kern but Bobby Eaton started through the rope. The referee was keeping him out again. He did not see Steve Kern. Kern about to have a piece of the referee. That's the second time he's tagged, but the referees missed it. And 
and Steve just says to heck with it and comes after Sugar and Eaton. He pulls. That's going to be a disqualification. Fourteen minutes, twenty-three seconds. The winners and still champions are Sweet Brown Sugar and beautiful Bobby Eaton. Disqualification, 14-23. You've got to see the highlights of this Southern Tag title match. Take a look. Sugar hammered into Steve Kern's knee. Steve takes over. And he dumps it. Sugar right down in the middle of the ring. Steps on his face. Hammered him with an uppercut. And Steve pushes Brown Sugar down. Look out.
spent half the night keeping Terry Taylor out of the ring. The crowd really getting upset. Eaton power slam on Steve Kern. And Kern still stopped short of the corner from Terry Taylor. tag team match well Texas tornado tag match uh, that you will want to see and we've got some uh, tape of that match right now in this one it was Steve Kern and Terry Taylor going against Sweet Brown Sugar and Bobby Eaton and here is what happened in that Texas tornado match suplex beautiful Terry Taylor Sugar in trouble has lost two straight falls Taylor drops with a knee down across the chin and only a two count. Sugar back up, but back down. Uh-oh, as Taylor came off the ropes, it looked like Eaton might have hooked his leg. The referee was over talking to Hart and we couldn't see it, but that sure looked like the move that we guessed at. I was gonna say that we saw, but we honestly didn't see it. It's two falls to one at the present time. And the team of Taylor and Kern are leading the first family representatives. Double team from Eaton and Sugar. Sugar follows with an elbow. Bobby now with a foot. And Eaton and Sugar just taking turns. Kern will be in here and he'll nail somebody in just a minute. He chases beautiful Bobby. And I think Sugar is going to end up being the legal man. He is. Terry came out of the trouble okay. Well, he's not free, but at least he got to his feet. Steve Kern came down the line, but he was too far out of the corner to take the tag. Side suplex. Taylor now back down hard on the canvas and in trouble. We're approaching the 10 minute mark, and at the end of this fall, whatever time it may be, we are going to take a timeout. So everybody at the stations along the line, stand ready. We'll be taking a timeout at the end of this fall. Terry Taylor down, stomped in the middle of the lower back. <coughs> Sugar distracting referee Paul Morton. I thought maybe Hart would do some shenanigans, but he didn't. Tag on Sugar, and Sugar is in with a knee to the midsection. He really is concentrating on the midsection of Terry Taylor. Knee, three feet, reverse neck breaker, Taylor down, face first. This is the uh, fourth fall. And Terry Taylor in trouble, but look at Steve Kern. He just couldn't take it anymore. He came in and dropped a knee right in the back of Brown Sugar. Sugar tags Eaton, and Eaton is in. Eaton goes to work on Taylor. Kern and Taylor, one fall up. That's two falls to one. Eaton trying to even it up here. 
chin locks Taylor, sits on the spine, lifts up on the head. There wasn't any tag. I'm not really sure it makes any difference, although there are rules to be followed, and of course, the referee, had he seen them switch like that, would have had to break it up. Eaton was not tired. He was just switching out to uh, Sugar, maybe because Sugar has the ability to put a little more pressure on that chin lock. Taylor slides under the ropes. That'll get a break for him. Overall, we've been in action 11 minutes and 31 seconds, including the rest periods. And Terry Taylor down with Sugar dropping a heavy knee right down across the uh, chin. Count of one. Count of two. And Taylor kicks out. You know, the instinct is so strong for wrestlers to kick out before that third count. Many times in a Texas Tornado death match, you are better off taking the count, getting a 30-second rest, than you are trying to kick out and continue. That may have been the case with Taylor, but the instinct is ingrained too strong. Get out before that third count, and that's what Taylor did. Now he's taking a continued punishment from beautiful Bobby. Big elbow puts Taylor back down on the deck and Steve over hollering, come on, Terry. Fight it up, fight it up, he's saying. Get back, get back. And Taylor does just that as he zings Bobby, but with not the most steam, that head hurt him a little more to the midsection. But Sugar comes through, stomps on him. We are in the fourth fall of action. Eaton and Sugar have been very dominant in this fall. And again, the falls are not what determine the winner. The punishment is what determines the winner. And I suspect that Eaton and Sugar might just like to continue this until they have Terry Taylor in such a state he could not answer the uh, bell at the next fall. Sugar putting more punishment in. He didn't even try for the pin. You'll note that. I think Jimmy Hart hollered to Bobby, quit trying for an early pin on it. Let's get him beat. Sugar underneath, but Eaton comes in and double hands. Taylor Eaton had taken a tag from Sugar, so the entry is legal, but they did for a moment have a double team on him. Terry trying to crawl to the corner. Sugar and Eaton both go over. Sugar taking Kern back, and uh, Eaton cuts Taylor off. Oh. And Terry just missed. He swung wildly at Sugar from behind. And they are now roughing Taylor up. And here comes Steve Kern. Boy, and that Kern, when he loses his temper, he gets bad news. They're choking Taylor over the top rope while the referee was running Kern out of there. We're at the 15 minute mark. And we're in the fourth fall as Eaton and Sugar really pouring a heat on Terry Taylor. They're trying to end this at the end of this fall. They'd like Taylor not to be able to continue in that fifth fall. Well, maybe we're a little premature here. They haven't even won the fourth fall yet. Chin locked again, and uh, Sugar sits down on his spine and pulls up. Taylor fired into the ropes. Oh, and Taylor kicks it out. He's tagging, but in a neutral corner. He's shaken up, and now he sees Kern. He's heading for the corner. He makes the tag on Steve Kern. Wow, what an escape for Terry Taylor. He needed that as a fresh Steve Kern comes booming in, laying sugar and eating low. Hart distracting Steve Kern. And this fourth fall is on and on and on. And Eaton now over with, with uh, 
Steve, who is caught in the rope. And Eaton pulls the chair up, nails Kern right in the elbow. And referee Paul Morton didn't see Taylor take a pile driver. Bobby Eaton using that chair on that bandaged elbow of Steve Kern. Steve is caught in the top two ropes, and Eaton is about six times hit him right in the elbow. Terry Taylor laid out by a pile driver put on by Sweet Brown Sugar. I think most of you know that the disqualification rules are waived. The referee does not stop the bout on a disqualification in a Texas tornado death match. It goes until one wrestler cannot continue. Eaton just continues to lay on that chair on Steve Kern. Here comes Bill Dundee, and uh, Billy throws a towel in. He comes in to get Eaton. So the bout is going to be stopped at 17 minutes and 21 seconds. Dundee threw the towel in. He's over trying to get Steve Kern loose. Now Sugar behind him nails Dundee with a chair. I think the victory is going to go to Sugar and Eaton, even though they use tactics, certainly. Not in any kind of wrestling world. Brutal stuff with a chair. Dundee nailed right in the face with that chair by Bobby Eaton. Steve Kern is hurt, and I'm afraid hurt severely. Eaton just kept pounding on him with, on the elbow. Taylor knocked back out. We're going to have to wait and see the official verdict. This is terrible. Referee Paul Morton is not effective in trying to keep it down. The first family just simply letting all the stops out. Dundee came in, threw the towel in to stop T from taking any more punishment on the elbow. Billy, for his trouble, got his eye split open. Sugar and Eaton just continuing. They need some more help. Here comes uh, promoter Eddie Marlin, referee Jerry Calhoun. They're in there going to try to help things out. Uh, but right now, there is no help, apparently, from Eaton and Sugar and Hart as they just continue to uh, pile it in there. You can obviously hear the distraught fans hollering in my ear over the damage that's being done. This is the kind of thing that... It's probably a good thing I didn't go ahead and finish saying exactly what I thought about that particular situation right there. Um, as it was very predictable, Steve uh, did get his uh, arm injured. We have a videotape. Uh, with Steve, we wanted you to hear as an aftermath of it. Okay, let's take a listen. You know, when I first became a professional wrestler, I never imagined sitting in a bed with my arm bandaged up and having to ask somebody else to fight my battles for me. But after what happened to me at the hands of your two goons, Hart, and me going undergoing surgery, I realize that I'm in no position to fight for myself. So I've come to a friend, and I've asked him as a friend. There's no money involved in this, Hart. Bill Dundee and I are close friends. We were champions together. We were tag team partners together. And he fights like I do Hart. So I know the man is capable of injuring somebody. And I've asked him as a friend that any time that he gets the opportunity to injure one of y'all to make sure he does it well enough that you're laying in a bed like I am. Now let me tell you this, Hart. I know that you've injured me to the point where I may never come back as a professional wrestler. As a matter of fact, when I left that hospital and I talked to that doctor after he operated on me, he never gave me a date when I'd start back. He never said, Steve, you'll be wrestling within two months, three months, six months, a year. He just looked at me and said, I hope it mends well. 
Well, I got some hidden meaning from that doctor, and that hidden meaning was I may never come back as a professional wrestler, but you remember this, Hart, that when one of your men's laying in that bed bandaged up like I am, or when you're laying in that bed bandaged up like I am, it's going to be done by the hands of Bill Dundee, but Steve Kern is going to be behind it, brother. A match to the expiration of time. Introducing at a total of 448 pounds from Huntsville, Alabama, Bobby Eaton. And from Union City, Tennessee, Sweet Brown Sugar going against him. Total weight 450 pounds. From Montreal, Canada, the Mid-America champion Jacques Rougeau. And from Barrow Beach, Florida, the Southern champion Terry Taylor. This match. To the expiration of time, Paul Morton, the referee. All righty. Looking forward to this one. You bet you it's going to be a doggone good one. The expiration of time match with uh, Rujo and Taylor going against Brown Sugar and beautiful Bobby Eaton. Eaton and Sugar, of course, held the Southern tag titles for a long time and are still uh, highly regarded as a tag team. And the young fellows across the way, Taylor and Rujo, did pretty well for themselves uh, after they split up. They were had just started as a tag team, Dave. You remember him. Terry had that big win for the Southern title, and it was not long after that that Rujo won the Mid-America title. That's right. And they still hold them. Beautiful Bobby and Terry Taylor starting out in the first moment of this exploration of time match. And you can tell by the immediate meeting in the ring there that Terry Taylor is really wrestling with a lot of confidence now. Eaton puts him down. Big shoulder. Taylor over the top of the hip toss. Beauty. Look at Eaton though, right back at him. Scoops him up. Body slam. Kicked out by Taylor. Goodness gracious, that action is fast and furious. There's a couple of guys that really battle each other when they face each other in the ring. They have on several occasions, Bobby Eaton and Terry Taylor. Taylor, uh, in the past, has usually ended up uh, getting the best of Bobby Eaton. Let's see how it goes in this particular instance. Terry taking a quick glance over his shoulder to look at uh, Sugar. He saw Sugar move down the rope. Sugar now tags in, and he'll get a little closer look at him. As Taylor immediately went to that side headlock. Beauty. Sugar hits the deck. And Jacques Rougeau gets the tag from Terry Taylor. <laughs> That's what you call the twin of rock and a hard play. That's right. Little misdirection there by Terry as he nailed Brown Sugar. And seated very quietly. Right there in the lower left part of the screen, Eaton and Sugar's manager, Jimmy Hart. I had some of the fans say he never looked better, Jimmy Hart. That's not nice. No. But it is nice to have the quiet over here. Yes. Big shock, Rujo, the Mid-America heavyweight champion, in against the fire plug, Sweet Brown Sugar. Rujo's got about, what, a 15-pound weight advantage, something like that, Dave, yeah. over uh, Sugar. Considerable and uh, quite about a, a foot in height. height. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Large height advantage on him. <laughs> this Sugar is some kind of athlete. We're in the first ball of what will be an expiration of time, Matt. And the way they're going at it now, it may be the only ball that we have. These two guys in there right now, Sweet Brown Sugar, Jacques Rougeau, have two of the best drop kicks you'll see in professional wrestling. Good observation, and there's a monkey flip. When this Rougeau puts you in the air, brother, I'll tell you, you are way up there. There's that drop kick from Jacques. And there's a little interference from beautiful Bobby. Rougeau and Taylor with a little conference as Sugar was making the tag on Bobby Eaton. Harry Taylor giving a little encouragement to Jacques to put some heat on that side headlock. Good night he held on to that. 
snap beautiful Bobby over as Eaton was trying to shake him. Ooh. Well, I'll tell you, this bout has been everything we thought it was going to be uh, prior to championship wrestling today, Dave. A couple of evenly matched teams, two individual champions, and the Southern champion, Taylor, the Mid-America champion, Rougeau, against some guys who have also held their share of belts in Eaton and uh, Brown Sugar. Eaton and Sugar, as a team, probably have the advantage in terms of uh, the workings of a tag team because mm -hmm. they have worked together so much longer. But you know, when you take a couple of pure athletes like Rougeau and Taylor, you can do miracles with it. Oh, Bobby dumped hard as Jacques treating him rough. Yeah, that's a good point. Guys like Rougeau and Taylor, they can work as singles or as a tag team. It's that athletic ability that carries them through. Eaton gets Jacques off of there while Brown Sugar is over in the corner distracting the referee. Taylor saying, come on, Jacques, come on, get him up. Big tag on Brown Sugar. And elbow. Off the knee of beautiful Bobby. Eaten in the ring once again after the tag. We're about five and a half minutes into this first fall. Referee breaks it up on the ropes over there as beautiful Bobby now with uh, the referee gone with brown sugar. Digs in to the face of Rujo. Look at Jock battling back. Taylor was waiting on it and he wasn't waiting on that, so look at Eaton and Sugar double team, Taylor. Backbreaker and a tag from Sugar to Eaton. Fast and furious action in our main event expiration of time match on championship wrestling. Lance Russell and Dave Brown bringing you the commentary on this one. Into Sugar's arms. Big slamming. Oh, what a body slam. Sugar put him down hard. Sugar pulls the arm up into a hammer. I thought he was going to go for a pin. Taylor trying to battle his way up. He's on his knees. Eaton takes the tag. Foot to the midsection. Terry doubled over as Eaton catches him when he's straightened up with a right hand. And a choke. Beautiful Bobby takes a right hand from Taylor. And the Southern champ battling his way back, but he's stopped short by an Eaton. Hand. Bobby, body slam. To the rope. Drops with that knee down on Terry Taylor. This is an expiration of time match. First fall of that match. Eight minutes into it. We're eight minutes into the action as Dave has informed us and Brown Sugar goes with an arm bar on Terry Taylor. And Sugar held on. Took Taylor right on over with him. Taylor trying to reach Rujo in the corner having no success at the moment. Still too far away, and Sugar dragged him across the ring. Tag, beautiful Bobby. Crowd really getting into it. Taylor gets 
gets away and tags Jock Rujo. Woo! And there goes Eaton flying off the ring. They've got Sugar in there as Rujo really going after him. Jock saying, get up, get up. And he did, and he got him with that great drop kick. Chris Dynamite Ball goes to the team of Rujo and Taylor. Nine minutes, ten seconds the time. Nine, ten the time. And be back after checking our time. And a very active week of championship wrestling that has taken place around the uh, United States and the world. One of the developments, Jimmy Hart and the first family now are possessors of the Mid-America heavyweight title. And here they come without all of the bandages and everything. Jimmy, this has got to be another one of those great days in the life. Now, sh now sugar didn't mess up just a little bit, baby. One little rain cloud, baby. That was all. But the family's coming back. Coming back stronger, baby. And I can't wait, Bobby. I love, I love you. you. Love yeah, you, I baby. Man, look, don't even worry. Me. Don't don't bother me out here for things like that. Don't be stupid out here, baby. Jimmy's like I said bubbling. before, this is going to be the greatest week of the first family's life. I've got it all back. When you've been down as low as Jimmy Hart's been with a broken hand, a burnt face, they're calling it the greatest comeback in the history of professional wrestling today. The greatest comeback in the history of professional wrestling today. Bobby, I love you, baby. I love you for it. Bobby uh, for it. Eaton, of course, defeated Jacques Rougeau for the Mid-America. <laughs> no sweat at all. Belt. No sweat at all, baby. No sweat at all. I didn't lose the match. The, uh, well, of the match that uh, Sweet Brown Sugar is talking about was a Southern heavyweight title match that he had with Terry Taylor, and he was not able to defeat Taylor for the uh, for the title. Taylor was able to keep his well, title, but. Listen, that's, that's, that's I the guess future. one out of two ain't bad. The future, baby, is what's happening. The future is what's happening. And Jimmy Hart and the family, we've just begun, wait, baby. Wait, we've wait, just begun. Wait, wait. Before you get into foreseeing the future for the first family and all of that. Let's talk about what did happen because I happen to be right at ringside for the World Heavyweight Championship you know, Bobby, match. Bobby the one calls me loser, man. Oh, no. Jesus man, Christ. Wait, come, hey, on. come on, you guys. Will you guys set? Hey, come on, Hart. Get these guys stopped. Now, get out here. Listen, you take it on your own. Do it on your own time, you guys. Listen, if you guys want to argue about it, go somewhere else. Shut up! I want to talk to Jimmy Hart about what happened at the World Heavyweight Championship match. Come on, Hart. Quit that stuff. And embarrass me and all these people. You guys, come on. Gee, that's, Settle that's, it well, down, He's been whining like a woman hey. all week, man. No he's been that. whining like a woman. Come on, Jimmy. I just Jimmy settle down. Oh, you oh, shut oh, up. I'll run the family. I'm in charge of the okay, family. No, I've got everything under control. You don't have to don't do even interrupt me. Hey, right just, go on back. just go on back to the back. I don't, I don't want excuses. I want results. You guys are going to stand out here and argue. All of you just go to the back. Bobby Eaton. Dundee hollering with the referee saying, I tagged him, I tagged him, but the ref didn't see it. Hard place for the referee, but he, oh, look at him, off the rope, brown sugar drop kicks, beautiful Bobby Eaton, two, three, it is over. Oh, -ho. a mistake by the family and Taylor and Dundee wasted no time in capitalizing on it. Five minutes, 53 seconds the time, 5.53. They had it all set up. Eaton was holding and Sugar was pitching. And now Brown oh. Sugar and beautiful Bobby. Little riff in the family. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Eaton and Sugar having a little problem and Hart trying to be the peacemaker in there. Gets Bobby Eaton back away. Eaton was pinned after the Sugar drop kick and uh-oh. Now Hart starts some more of that stuff. Sugar grabs a hold of Hart. And the crowd saying, go right ahead. Busting. Beautiful Bobby and Brown Sugar. Had a little rip in case you just joined us about a week or 10 days ago. And now Hart is reading the riot act. 
the brown sugar. And Hart is sending sugar back to the dressing room. And the win is going to Taylor and Dundee as Brown Sugar leaves a rather dejected young man. And Jimmy Hart has sent him back to the dressing room after a defeat at the hands of Taylor and Dundee. Jimmy, a little problem in the family, I detect. I've got everything under control. Let me tell you something. Nobody, nobody tries to embarrass me. Bobby, go back in the back and get my shoes and you get me a cloth. Sweet brown sugar, let me tell you something, baby. You better get yourself. You've got one minute to get out here and apologize to me. You're going to polish my boots on TV Jimmy, or you're out of the family. You Jimmy, understand that? Get my gonna, boots. We don't have to get listen boots, to it. Baby. Let's take a break. Nobody humiliates Jimmy, me, man. Nobody. Oh, shut up. Just... They want you, so you get out of here. I'm telling you. He wants you. What Jimmy Hart wants about it, he's going to get him out here. That's get out right. here. Get out here. Listen, we're not going to put up with this kind of stuff in here, Jimmy. We've we got a match up coming it. up with the king, and I don't want to have any of this stuff going on out here. Sugar, do you hear me in the back? Evidently, you must be deaf. Evidently, evidently, you don't realize that your future is on the line right now, baby. I know how to handle this kind. I know how to do it. Now, Sugar, here are my boots. Here is the towel. I now, come on out here. Boots. I'm dropping them on the floor, and you've got... 45 seconds, 45 seconds to get out here. Can you imagine? All the money we've made, all the money we've made. Look at this, look at the man's mouth up here. All the money that Jimmy Hart has made us. You've got 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Yeah, all the money and all you talk about is Your future is on the line, baby. Your future, man, I've done it all for you. If you better get out here, you're going to go back to riding horses where I found you. I've done everything for him. I'm the one who put him in the outfits he's in and gave him that charisma, man. You were nothing before the family. Now get out here. You've got 10 seconds. Okay, fine. Five, three, two, one. Okay, baby, you're out of the family. You are out of the family. Like I said, I know how to handle his kind. You are out of the family. You're from now on. You're a Coco Ware, Coco right, Father? You're a Coco Ware. That's, a, that's the first favor that I've seen you do anybody in a long, long time. That's the one he has made us, and he was like that. Big elbow that puts Sweet Brown Sugar down to the canvas. Sugar's taking some punishment by eating. Goodness great. Oh, big right hand that puts sweet brown sugar down to the canvas. Chip. Out of the ring goes sugar. Oh, my goodness. And look out as sugar put right into it. We've seen brawls. And watch out. Hart just taunted him. And sugar now rode back in the ring by Bobby Eaton. Put him in uh, quickly, the winner, as we are not even three minutes into this Mid-America title. Eaton throwing everything he had that sugar, but this tough sugar, we said it many, many times, a package of dynamite, and he just fired off, and an explosion on a beautiful body, then a drop gag. Oh, my goodness, sugar, a master of it. He does it again. Super drop kick on top, one, two, almost had him, and had the Mid-America heavyweight title. Body slam, and up on the second rope again, and uh, Sugar set, and the big drop kick. The drop kick off the second rope, and Jimmy Hart, Sweet Brown Sugar going after Hart. Sugar beating on Hart, and Eden with that cane of Hart catches Sugar. Sugar down, and Bobby Eaton on top of him. One, two, and three, he gets him. As Hart jumps up and goes around by Sugar, Eaton grabs a chair. And he throttles Brown Sugar as he comes through the ropes and under the ring. And Hart again. One, two, and that's all he got. Beautiful Bobby is snapping off a big right hand on Sweet Brown Sugar. Count of one, count of two, boy, I thought that was it. And look at Eaton, he is hollering at the referee, Hart's hollering at the referee. Yeah, Eaton dumping sugar down, boy, he has been dominant in the last four minutes. Oh, a 
flying knee. Well, Bobby has done everything he could within and without of the rules to finish Sugar, but he hadn't been able to do it yet. Beautiful Bobby pounding away on a guy that won't be beat. Sugar, two of them. Now, Sugar going after Eden. Sweet brown sugar just will not be defeated. Sugar fires him over the rope. Looking, oh yeah, I can see it now. Eaton's face covered with blood where sugar slammed him into that ring post. His nose is bleeding, his right eye looks badly lacerated. And Sugar just really winding up on him. Two, but the foot is on the rope with the aid of Jimmy Hart. And right now, Brown Sugar, who just wouldn't be pinned by beautiful Bobby, follows through with a great suplex. Eaton stretched out. Count of two, and the referee jumps up to get Hart back down. Eaton staggers into the corner. Hart with that cane, Sugar trying to pull it away. Bobby pulled a chain out of his boot. I could see it, but the referee finally got a hold of Hart's cane. He missed Eaton slashing him with that chain. He covers one, two, three, and that's it. A new Mid-America champion, Sweet Brown Sugar, will be leaving after a 